Hi Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and I have another Varied Vases project to share with you that features the Vases Builder Punch. If you're wondering how I decide what stamp sets to feature for my monthly Stamps in the Mail Club, I like to pick something that's got a lot of flexibility. Uh, and this set and the punch definitely qualify. So many cool things you can do with it. But the card I'm going to show you is actually a gatefold card. It's, it's an uneven gatefold card. So instead of having the gatefold right in the middle, um, it really adds to the interest to have it be on the side. And then I featured the tailored tags punch and then the inside of our card here. So there are quite a few tips in this, including how to make the ribbon um, ruffle on the front and how to place your pieces. So let's get stamping and I'll give you some good ideas that you can use at home and details on how to put your card kit together. Okay, lots of great pieces in this one. So you need your varied basis stamps and our card here is pre-cut. It's a half sheet of cardstock, so it's four and a quarter by 11. And then instead of scoring it in the center, I've scored it at three and a half inches and nine inches. So what that does is it gives us a gatefold, which is going to work this way for us. And we're gonna decorate this panel over here so it sort of has a fun overlap. But before we get there um, to the front of it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some tricks for the center of our card. So I am going to use some flowers here. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp in lovely lipstick. And I um, already have a whole bunch of A blocks out, so I just mounted them on here, which will work just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp these two flowers down here and then add the centers. And fun, but the same center um, actually goes on both of these two flower stamps, which makes it super easy because you got it mounted already and you just go ahead and stamp them. Okay, so there are our flowers. And I'll go ahead and clean that off really quickly here with my chamois. And the next thing I'm gonna do is grab um, my long strip here of scallops. Now, this is not long enough to cover the whole card. So if I was gonna stamp um, a card here that used, um, you know, had a strip all the way across, I would have to try and match it on the ends or in the middle or something. And that just, I find never works very well. So instead of trying to match it, I am going to show you a trick. So I've got my stamp here. I'm going to ink it up and I'm gonna stamp once on this side of my flowers and then I'm going to stamp again on the other side of my flowers, okay? So now I have an image that goes all the way across without having to try to meet those two things in the middle. So, uh, very fun, and I'm going to need that again. So the other thing that goes on these is um, little uh, leaves, and so I have Call Me Clover here, and I'm going to just add right in the middle, maybe one more here for kicks. There we go, um, a little bit there. Now the center, I'm going to go ahead and stamp off before I add it to the image. So what I get is a nice um, sort of light shade of Call Me Clover that of course matches, but isn't uh, the same intensity, so. All right, so then we're going to take this with our adhesive and pop this into the center of our card. So this is cut to four inches by five and a quarter inches, so it fits just inside there. All right, so back to our card front. Now, um, there's lots of different ways that you can decorate the gates on the gatefold, but what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make this card um, with the tailored tag punch pieces. These are really fun for making um, kind of geometric shapes and so forth. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to kind of, I have to hold the card closed uh, at the same time, but I'm gonna kind of lay these out so that I have an idea of how they are going to fit here. And I think, yep, you can still see pretty well, even though it's color on color. So then I'm gonna go back and, I don't really want this to be exactly half, so I think I'm gonna try and go just a little bit further and I'm gonna pop a dimensional in the back and then use that as my starting point for my pattern and I'll re-think um, some of these. So this dimensional is gonna go right here because it can't go over. Um, it has to be just on the cardstock that's on this, this gate, our right hand gate here. Otherwise it would seal our card shut. Okay, then I need another dimensional here and we're gonna add this next tailored tag punch there. See how this is coming together? And my last one over here, and this is just gonna go right above the ones we already have. Okay, 
Now, if you really want to, you could go back with a tip and cut off one of these tips and add it back there. I think I'm not going to worry about it. But what I am going to do is kind of flip this to the back side and trim my excess here. Okay. So that I have um, my tailor tag gatefold. So see how that works? So now we need to dress this all up. And of course, we are going to do that um, with some... Uh, strips of cardstock here. So here is my long one and I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to grab my um, Hello image and I'll pop this one pop these flowers off and Put my hello on and I'm going to do this in blueberry bushel and it goes all the way towards the end of my strip here and then I'm going to go back um, with my scallop circles and I'm going to ink them in blueberry bushel again and pop them here on our strip of Whisper White. Okay, so we have that. And then I'm just gonna cut a banner tail just like that. And then I kinda don't want this to end early, so I'm going to cut that so it looks like it just kind of extends. And then this is going to get mounted here on our cardstock. And I am going to use um, some snail, but what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that it doesn't have any snail on it where it's not going to be attached to your card because you don't want this um, baby to be, um, you don't want it to be uh, sealing your card shot. So like if I had adhesive here on the end after the hello, then it would be sticking my card shot, which is not really what I want. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is add some vases. And these stamps, um, some of them come in pairs and some of them come individually. And I have this um, long strip of Whisper White cardstock here, which is plenty for all my vases. If you're thinking about where your punch is, so if I want to reach into my punch like this to do that one at the end, then I want to make sure that I stamp this vase this direction. Does that make sense? Kind of upside down so that it's easy to punch out. All right. And then I am, I'll clean that end off. I am going to stamp the um, tall vase next and that one um, to reach in is going to go this direction. Okay, so I'll reach in again and I know I have to punch um, more of my strip but that's okay, there's plenty here and I could use that vase later maybe. All right, and then the last one is this vase here. So I'm probably gonna reach in again like this, so I'll stamp him upside down. And for that, um, I'm actually going to stamp the um, inside first. You can do either way, but I'm gonna stamp off once on my scratch paper and then stamp on my project. So you can see how that's just a little bit lighter on there. Um, the ink isn't full strength anymore when I go on my good paper, so it ends up being a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to full strength add the outline there. So now I have my cool outline vase and if you don't line it up exactly that's perfectly okay um, not a big deal all right so now we have our three vases and I'm going to um, go ahead and punch some leaves to go with my vases and there is a stamp in the set to um, you can use to stamp your leaves um, but I kind of like the um, I kind of like just slivers of cardstock. So this is Call Me Clover, and I am just punching, and I'm going to need three, one for each flower. That's not a leaf. Uh, and then the last thing I'm going to need is some flowers to go on here. And so these are right here on the flower part of our cute um, little stamp, and these are going to be blueberry bushel. So I'm going to go ahead and space these guys out, and again, stamp off before you... Um, go ahead and stamp on and if I clean that I can swap that off and put my outline on and I'm going to stamp that outline right over each of these I love this little tulip shape super cute okay and then we can go ahead and punch out our flowers okay so let's get um, working on putting our card together and then I'll show you the last thing, which is the ruffle um, and kind of a cool thing. So for these, what I did, I found um, the easiest thing to do was to attach my leaf to the back of my vase with a Stampin' Dimensional. And if the vase is wide enough at that point, you can use a full-size Stampin' Dimensional. Um, if it's not wide enough, you can use a smaller one. But there is my um, 
first vase here on the right side and I'm going to pop this kind of pretty far over here. And the next vase is going to be this one. So I'm going to put one dimensional here that's going to really hold it on. And then I'm going to use um, one of the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. If you haven't used these yet, um, I highly recommend them. I'm just going to put it on the back there and then pop a um, leaf on top of it. There we go. Okay, so take the backing off that other dimensional and stick that down. And that leaves our last base, which is this little guy over here. And he needs a Stampin' Dimensional to hold him on. And then I think that Stampin' Dimensional actually can double with our leaf. So see, it just goes all the way down there. And then that pops there in the end. Now, again, with your placement, you want to make sure that you don't have adhesive hanging over the edge or it will seal your card shot. All right, then lastly, find um, these or lastly before our ribbon ruffle, we have these cute little tulips and I'm gonna pop a Stampin' Dimensional on the back of each one. It is done here with this piece of quarter inch um, grow green ribbon and a piece of tear tape because you want a really strong strip of adhesive for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this tear tape right here um, below my um, strip of cardstock, just like this, okay, and I'm going to push that down pretty hard and then I'm going to peel it up, uh, the backing, there we go, I'm going to say I'm going to peel it up, okay, so now you can see the adhesive on there, and then with my ribbon kind of starting to the end here, I'm going to pop that off the side, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth to cover up all the adhesive, so I kind of go um, toward the right side of the card and then I fold it back over and go to the left side of the card and I press it into the adhesive right below and then the right side of the card and I'm pressing it into the adhesive right below again okay and then the left side of the card okay and as I'm going I'm covering all that adhesive so this is kind of a fun way to add like a ribbon embellishment to a project when you're not quite sure how you want to tie. You don't really want a bow, but you just want something, something extra on there. Okay. And you just want to make sure you cover up all your adhesive. And then at the end, I'm going to take my snips and trim that little bit of ribbon there. All right. So there we have our finished gatefold card, our um, unequal gatefold card with the ribbon ruffle and the tulips. And uh, here is the, here's the other one that I had with the, the two tulips and that last face there. So just for just for kicks if you want to do something a little different. So I hope you have enjoyed your Stamps the Mail Club kit this month. If you don't have one yet, gasp, uh, you can request one from me. Just send me an email or check my website to request one via the form. And the uh, Varied Vases stamp set <laughs> is included. Uh, you can add the vases punch or vases builder punch to it um, at a discount. And you also get the three colors of ink that are the new in colors, three of the five new in colors here. Or you can get the bundle with full size ink pads and, and get all five. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions and I appreciate your watching. Thanks so much for um, stamping with me and I look forward to showing you another project again soon. Happy stamping!